Good morning friends, welcome to The Point. In this video, we will discuss another concept related to World Trade Organization that is TRIPS, also known as Trade Related Aspects of Intellectual Property Rights. So the first question that should come in your mind is that what was the need uh, to that, uh, include TRIPS in the World Trade Agreements? So if you know that the predecessor of uh, World Trade Organization that is GATT, just talked about trade rules related to trade in goods and not including services and intellectual property rights so with the growing economy and industrial changes around the world there was need to secure the trade in services as well as intellectual property rights so there was a conference that is known as uruguay round of conference that lasted from 1986 to 1994 and that resulted in formation of wto which also asked to include uh, trade rules related to intellectual property right under its ambit so we'll quickly go through the slide modern day trade includes not only trade in goods but also in services and intellectual property rights to safeguard the trade in ipr an agreement was included in the world trade agreements which was negotiated as a part of uruguay round of conference from 1986 to 1994 the Uruguay Round introduced intellectual property rights into the multilateral trading system for the first time through a set of comprehensive disciplines and thus included in the WTO agreements. It came in force in 1995 and is mandatory and binding on all the WTO members. So all the country countries who have agreed to become the members of WTO also have to agree to the rules of TRIPS. Now, uh, on to the next slide which talks about what was the why was TRIPS included in WTO? As I told that the pre predecessor of WTO, which was GATT, did not talk about or mention anything related to trade in intellectual property rights. So a need was there to include them as well. That's why uh, TRIPS was introduced. The predecessor of WTO, that is GATT, dealt with international trade just in goods and not including services and intellectual property rights in its ambit. With the changing time and trade practices, there was a need to safeguard the trade in IPR sector too. Hence, it was included in the WTO agreements. Moving on to the next slide, which talks about as to what all is covered under IPR. So, what, what sort of things are protected under TRIPS? The first is copyright. Now, copyrights include... Uh, or copyright secures any sort of creation it could be a musical creation it could be some artistic design or uh, a lyrical composition or a movie uh, so that all is covered under copyrights next is trademark so trademark is any symbol or a logo that helps in identifying a product for an example a uh, symbol of nike or symbol of uh, pepsico or uh, if you see there's so many products uh, which have their own distinctive uh, identification mark to take another example if you see the twitter has a bird and facebook f amazon a to z now all these are trademarks which helps in identifying a particular product or a good or a service so that is also given protection under ipr next is geographical indication geographical indication is given to a product that is produced with certain characteristics in a particular region for an example bengali rasagulla or uh, banarsi sari now these products have certain set characteristics and that can be find only in that particular region now if rajasthan also produces uh, uh, rasagulla it cannot be uh, called as rasagulla or bengali rasagulla or if a sari is uh, made on the same line it cannot be termed as a banarsi sari because it has not got that geographical indication tag so a sari that is produced in banaras with certain set characteristics of features is and which has got a tag will only be termed as banarsi sari next is industrial designs then then it, there is patents now patents is what uh, uh, under patents any creation or uh, sorry any invention or discovery let's suppose uh, if a person has uh, devised a new thermometer which which uses something else rather than mercury to uh, gauge the temperature of the room so that is a new uh, invention that is given protection under patents and next is layouts or designs of integrated circuits so certain companies have their specified circuits and that cannot be and that should not be replicated because they have uh, 
taken protection under uh, layout designs of integrated circuits the last one is undisclosed information or trade secrets so many companies hold their own trade secrets for example coke and pepsi now their uh, recipe or uh, way to produce coke or pepsi has been secured and it is never leaked now that is something very valuable information for pepsi because if it is leaked then anyone or any other soft uh, drink making company can replicate the uh, flavor so that's a trade secret and it holds value of millions and zillions now that and that is also given protection under ipr or say trips now friends i hope it is clear as to what trips is and what was the need that it was included under wto the only and the one reason is that its predecessor that is gat did not talk about trade rules in ipr so hence the trip ca trips came into existence so friends this is all for the today's video thank you so much for your 